very rushed and urgent trip to the ER, which unlocked a new parenting thing for us because everything you see here for under $150. Are you in school? I'm trying to finish my coffee that I've been trying to finish for the last five hours. Well, hello. Welcome to today's vlog. It is a nice Sunday. I had a wonderful rest day yesterday. <sighs> We've had quite an unexpected morning. We had a trip to the ER, very rushed and urgent trip to the ER, which unlocked a new parenting thing for us because we have not had to do that before. We've never had to take in our kids to the emergency before I went in. And yeah, so we're back. I'm feeling, I mean, it was a little bit of a whirlwind of a morning trying to get that all situated, but everything is okay now. Everything is better on the road to recovery and praying everything feels and goes in this child gets better. So like I said, this is still my coffee from the morning I took it with me to the ER and then I ended up drinking none of it and it's like two but anyway I'll put you on a tripod okay I'm gonna chat with you guys while I put away some clothes I have this so as you guys know I did a video a couple weeks ago sharing what we do for our Sabbaths and I shared with you guys how we do our dinners on Fridays and then that starts our rest and then I shared like what I do and don't do on Saturdays so yesterday one thing I take a break from is laundry and doing the dishes yesterday Jordan was so gracious and he actually did the laundry on my rest day I didn't do the laundry yesterday but he did which was really sweet and kind of makes me want to tear up right now because because I'm not behind so normally what I'll do is either I'll try to get ahead on Friday or I have more to catch up on Sunday now getting ahead normally doesn't work because whatever clothes needs to be washed are the clothes that we're wearing all day on Friday so it's like hard to get ahead unless I like go ahead and start doing our sheets but I normally don't strip our sheets till Tuesday so it's kind of hard unless there's like I don't know unless we went to the pool and there's extra towels or like there's more dirty clothes or we went into the mud and like there's so that what that doesn't always work I always end up having more work to do on Sunday to kind of make. So the fact that Jordan did this is really sweet. So this is all clean clothes that I'm going to put away. Like yesterday, my rest day was wonderful. I woke up pretty early, around like 8. I try to sleep in, but I just feel like I can't. My body just naturally wakes up. So I went and met a girlfriend at the farmer's market, a couple of my girlfriends. It was really nice. I didn't end up getting anything. I was just walking around because I had not been to the farmer's market in like over a year. And so I thought it was just so cute. So that was like nice. We got little coffees, got some bagels in the morning. And then I came back home and Jordan had slept in. And then he was like, wait, I want to go to the farmer's market. So then we ended up going back to the farmer's market again and shopping around for a little bit. And it was just nice. It's just nice. Like one thing that we try to do is not schedule things, is to not have a bunch of stuff and like be bondage to the clock. And I said this in my video. Oh, hey. I didn't even notice that she even snuck in here. But one of the things that I will personally do on my rest day is not be bonded. I won't let the clock be the thing that I'm thinking about because I think about it all week long. I'm always tied to like a very specific schedule for my baby. She's on a very tight nap schedule. My like other kid is on a very tight schedule and homeschool starts by a certain time. And we have like, I'm more bound by the clock during the week. So on my rest day, I try not to. So it's really nice going back down there and then Jordan and I just being just more slow with our time. like walking as slow as we want and sitting down and drinking our coffee instead of having to go and like letting the kids nap just in the car or letting them nap in the stroller like not rushing to get back home to put them to nap in their own bed like I don't know it was just like it was just a really good time and then after that we came back home and I made a really yummy beef egg roll stir fry I will link this recipe down below I didn't follow it to a tea because I still kind of eyeball it anytime there's any type of sauces and stuff I personally just kind of eyeball it and do it to taste but it's so easy easy because you literally brown ground beef and then you throw in a bag of cabbage and carrots and was well, basically coleslaw without the, the slaw sauce it's like a bag of that and then you literally just mix it in and then you put in together like sesame oil ginger and soy sauce and it's so good so once we got back home I did that got that all situated and then we had a really early dinner it was like 3 30 when we were eating dinner you guys because then we had a bible Q&A that we were going to that Jordan's family had has hosted in the past where basically there's three pastors up there and anyone can just come up and ask different questions so I thought that was really cool and we really enjoyed our time and even our kids got to ask questions which was really cool one of our kids asked how did Moses part the Red Sea and it was just really cool because I wanted them to obviously be excited and engaged in that too <laughs> So 
to see that in just a second. But I'm trying to finish my coffee that I've been trying to finish for the last five hours before I finish tackling down here. A question that I've been getting a lot recently has been women reaching out to me asking how they can best help their friends right now that are going through mere miscarriages. And I think that's really sweet because if you haven't gone through one, I think it's hard to want to help or you just really don't know what to say. I remember when I was in my early 20s, I think I was like 21, it was before I had my first daughter. I had a friend who went through a miscarriage and I genuinely did not know what to say because it is such a sensitive thing and sometimes things that we think would be super helpful aren't. So no, like you guys, I kid you not, literally within the last week, I've had at least 15 people ask me this question. So I wanted to share a little insight real quick. The first thing is I feel like making note and mentioning that they have, if they have kids, making note and mentioning that you already have blessings isn't really helpful because a lot of times when someone is pregnant, it is because they want to expand their family and they do want more kids. And to say that you want more kids and to expand your family does not mean that you don't see the ones that you currently have as enough or as a blessing. Cause that was one thing that people would say and I'm just like, that's, you're, you're totally missing the mark. So mentioning that your children that you have are big blessings and stuff, I feel like that's just a very obvious statement and would make the mom feel shameful for wanting more children and not, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like mentioning that isn't helpful. For us, one thing that I really love that my friends did was meal trains just because I physically really needed to take care of my physical body after losing Jaira and like nutritious foods was something that I was craving and wanting but just really didn't have the energy to do so the fact that like my mom came over like when we came back from the surgery my friend had made the most delicious home-cooked meal and it was like still warm when she brought it over and like that was like the best thing to have after so I think even just helping them with meals and like nutritious things if they have kids offer to take their kids for some time whether you just take their kids to the park or just let them and their spouse have a date night I feel like there's so many like little practical things whether if you live in the different state sending them a gift card where they can get Grubhub or something yeah. delivered Wow that looks so cool I love it okay I love it thanks can I take a picture of you with it oh you look so cute all right why don't you leave it over there on top of the mat because it's still wet and it's got to dry a little bit and another thing that a lot of my friends have talked to me about that they did was therapy I have one specific friend who had a pregnancy loss way further in um, and it was quite an experience for her and she it happened several years ago and she still goes to therapy for it and I think that is also a great thing I don't think that the Lord is limited like the Lord can use use anyone in anything to help someone. I think just because you're Christian does not mean that you cannot seek therapy. And I would like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Jordan and I used them several years ago. I think it was our second year of marriage that we started using them. But BetterHelp is amazing and such a cool resource that we have that you can find a therapist online. What BetterHelp will do is they will match you with a therapist. So you can either text the therapist, you can call them, you can do Zoom calls, you can pick however you want it to be. They're very flexible with you and work with you. And I love the idea that you don't have to go into an office. Like you can do it on your own term and your own schedule. I remember when we were speaking to our therapist, like we would speak to her late at night because we had young kids. And that was the only time Jordan was home from work. And like, it would be really late. We'd be sitting in the corner of our bedroom. And like, that was the time that we could do it. And we loved it because of the flexibility that came with it. And if for some reason you don't like the therapist that you have, you can switch one and get a new one and you don't have to pay extra for it. So it's really cool. And their website is super useful are friendly. I've had a great experience. I know a lot of people who have as well and I do have a 10% off code so I will link that down below for you guys if you want to check it out and thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I think it is a beautiful resource. I think it's beautiful that we have this stuff available to us and I don't think there is any shame in you being a Christian and wanting to seek out therapy. The Lord can use anyone. These resources are not shameful. These resources are amazing and I think if more people were willing to accept that they needed more help and more people were willing to step out into doing this I think it's so beautiful so if there is a friend of yours or maybe you're going through that right now there's definitely someone that you can talk to and have help in that area because sometimes you might not have girlfriends that you're comfortable with or you might not be comfortable with talking to your husband like there's different people that you can talk to who would be able to help you manage something like that so yeah I think it's really cool all right wow oh wait sorry it wasn't supposed to look okay honey show us what you did 
All right, so I went grocery shopping for this week. Sometimes Melana does the Instacart, but other times it's my therapy. So I will go in a grocery shop and it's comforting and calming. But before you can put away all your groceries, you have to clean your fridge. And that's what I did. I wish you could have wow. seen it before because it was pretty nasty. Mm -hmm. I had to go in and like wipe out the bins on the inside yep. and top and bottom of the different racks there. But this is clean, believe it or not, for our fridge. So that's great. After Evangeline's party, we had just a lot of stuff. Yes. Because of the party. But I went to go get meals for this week, and this is what we're having. Uh, we were able to get everything you see here for under $150. So, for reference, it is August 2023. <laughs> that's really cheap. And Because that's most, how much I used to pay, like, yes. two years ago. And disclaimer, no, there's not things like cleaning supplies are usually really expensive, or mm -hmm. tons and tons of different meats. Uh, I did get groceries. some, but we also have, like, Good Ranchers that mm -hmm. we have delivered. I already have some of those things. Yeah, so here's the meals that yeah. all of this is making this week. Chicken fajita tacos, salmon with veggies. Wednesday we're gonna do leftovers with rice and salad. Thursday is steak with mashed potatoes. Friday is grilled chicken with crazy salad. Mm. One thing I want to note and add is that I'd love to do a separate video showing our updated routine. Cause I think the last time I showed like our grocery haul and how much we spend has been over two years. And I remember that was like a very popular video that I did back then. So I would love to redo that because one, since then, inflation has changed drastically. How much we spend on groceries has changed drastically. And my approach has changed drastically too. Now we do Costco. We now have a meat subscription that we've been very like sticking with. And I've cut down on Home Chef because I used to get Home Chef bi-weekly. Now I get it maybe once a month so those are things that have drastically changed since that video and our family is larger now too and our kids are older so they're eating more like snacky things so there's just been a lot that has changed so lots of change has happened and i'd love to update you on that and now let's get these uh groceries out of their bags and onto the table <laughs> All right, so let me show you what we got. And before I do, literally, I have receipts or a receipt. So here's all the uh, different amounts. So that's everything I bought. Saved a few bucks. 146.82 is the total. So I got all of our fruit here, vegetables, eggs, our lettuce and salad stuff like spinach and my favorite baby romaine, asparagus, big fillet of salmon, some tortillas with fajita seasoning, and then this is my favorite rice. It's yellow seasoned rice. Normally I get like a big box of it, but it's for whatever reason only came in the smaller ones. So it's like two and a half servings each. So about seven and a half servings total. Is that for the fajitas? Yeah, so that's gonna go with the chicken fajitas. And then got some soy sauce that I'm gonna make a marinade for the salmon. And then just some garlic because we needed some minced garlic already. And then I got tomatoes, basil, mozzarella, and calamata olives for that caprese salad. And like I said, we got some meat already from Good Ranchers. So that's this week's meal. process of trying to remove it i'm using this which i normally use on clothes i don't know if they'll get it out i normally use full x but i don't even know if i have any full x left but all the paint that i ever buy for the kids because i do allow them to paint at any moment in time it's like one of the things that i won't necessarily say no to them and i let them do frequently because that's just how i keep my kids busy so i'm going to see if i can I'm gonna use like a rag with like really hot water and then see if that. I actually do have four. I'll also try this. I'll try to use the combo of the two, but I think sometimes letting something soak in the solution is always the best idea. It's not coming off. The Felix is taking it out. That's all right. It's, it was it was 
It's not a big deal. We can always clean up messes, okay? But next time you want to paint, can you just let me know and I'll help you? Well, you, you said we can paint. I, yes. You should have said we can't paint. You said no. Jimmy, no, but we, we can paint. I just needed to help you set it up. Well, so I next was, time I say yes, just say, okay, Mommy, can you set it up for me and I'll get it for you. Well, I was thinking, I think I put a little bit too much because one of them are so full up to the top. And it so all that, spilled and it mm -hmm. overflowed. That's okay, because look, it's coming out. It's not a big deal. Okay, so when I used this, it did not do anything. And then I went in with the Folex and that helped a lot. There's like a big black spot right here and that essentially took it away. The only thing that's still kind of left is like right here. And I just sprayed it on, I haven't even scrubbed yet. But Folex is my tried and true. This one is great for like kids clothes and like if right after they eat. I feel like it just can't tackle Stains like this the way that full looks. That right there, and that green spot too. Okay, and then the secret is you gotta I use like your muscles. The bar. You really gotta, you gotta let this sit in a little bit. Ooh. Thank you. Wait, what is it? A little chicken with cucumber salad. Thank you. Okay, I'm taking toys down and we're gonna put them in here okay so behind me right here is where all of the kids toys are stored i have not showed you guys this and what we have done i actually did hire professional organizers to help me do this and it's great because everything has a place but it's not so great because everything has a place and so i can't just come down here and just like throw everything in place like i have to very specifically put stuff where it goes so for example we have stuffed animals here so i'm gonna put it can i see what stuff does yeah. Well, I'm putting stuffed animals away. Wait, these actually go back up into your room. Oh, these go in your room. I pulled out a bunch of stuffed animals because we just had Evangeline's first birthday. Here we have pretend play. I thought I had food. I have pretend play and then I have a baby category. So I, okay, so one thing that they suggested I do that I haven't done yet, but is put everything in alphabetical order because right now we have Legos, felt board, music, wooden blocks, like none of it has structure to it. So I do need to go yeah. and do that but this is priority Mama. first so i'm putting everything uh. away normally i don't do toe rotations today i stopped doing them on sundays a long time ago because my sundays just got oversaturated with stuff to do i normally do them on thursdays but i have time today two of my kids are sleeping one is like eager and excited to help me so i'm just going to take the time now put all the books away like this is a rotation that i did literally months ago that i never put this stuff away i just literally brought a basket down so i'm gonna just kind of go through everything now is the new rotation. Several hours later, I got a little carried away and I did like literally an entire rotation, which I haven't done in a while. I took out the rocking chair that was here. I'd been holding on to it because of Jaira. He was supposed to be born in the fall, so I knew I'd be having to nurse the baby, but because that's happening, I just decided to take it out. And my baby is in a very climby stage, so I pulled out the pickler. I did a little basket for her. These are her toys, and it's so funny because when Alethe and Ari were her age, they each had like a whole thing of toys, and I don't know if
if it's because I have more kids now or I've just realized that kids and babies specifically do not need much at all. Hello. Her toy section morning, is very small. Morning. So, little picker situation. One thing I always do is tie little silks to them because it just makes it more fun to climb underneath and whatnot. Over here, I have their books here. Little, this is like a, it's actually a little Jesus set. It's really cute. I got that going. I got block. I got dinosaurs. I got the rainbow. These are the kids' favorite puzzles. And then these are village um, colorful thingies. And then here's a little castle. Ugh and some flowers. And then this is another part that I rotated. So I plan on putting chairs right here. They're just in the back of my car I still have to get. And then I have this little stand. It's really cute. It did come with like a bunch of little things, but I donated them. I prefer these. They're like little felt things and they're bigger. The ones that had come with it were too, were way too small. And then along this way i cleaned all of this out i had stuff there but i just cleaned everything it just felt like we just needed a nice fresh start all right i'm gonna finish out this vlog we are gonna go on a fun little uh, picnic with the family normally we do date nights on sundays but i really just want to hang out with the kids and just do something different we've actually been doing date nights at home once the kids go to bed but I wanted to change it up today and just kind of have this all go. It's such a beautiful day out. I'm about to go check, but I'm praying I don't have to go back to the ER tonight. So prayers for that would be very appreciated. Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Be blessed. I'll leave my BetterHelp code down below too so you guys can get 10% off if you'd like.